importing Koikatsu accessories and objects to Blender is now 12% more convenient, with the introduction of a new feature added to version 4.3 of the KK plugin. This feature uses Blender's built-in FBX importer to import the objects, and then automatically applies one of four shaders to the imported objects. I'll start by showing how it works with the studio item. The search function gives me a nice hint for which mod this item is from, so it should be easy to find it in my mods folder. Here's the item I was looking for. Items can be previewed by double-clicking on the animator entry, going to the Mesh tab, and double-clicking on the Mesh. Once you've got the right item, click the Export button, and on the bottom here, SB3U will show you the directory the item has been exported to. It looks like this item extracted to my temp folder. If you don't feel like going back and forth between the temp folder and the game folder, you can extract the Unity 3D file you want to work with to a directory of your choosing and then reopen the file in SB3U. Now when you export any files, it'll export to that same directory. In Blender, you can import the FBX files by clicking on the Studio button and choosing the folder the FBX files are stored in. Some objects will import tiny, like so tiny you can't even see it, so you might have to scale them up. The armature is also pretty beefy on this one, so I'm going to scale the bones down in edit mode. Here's what the item looks like with the standard, principled BSDF shader. These shaders need light sources, so I'm going to turn up the world color and add a sunlight source. And if you check the panel again, you can see that the shader settings match the nodes in the shader tab, the shadow selections are both set to none, and the blend modes are both set to alpha clip. There are four options for shading. This one's standard shading, this one's constant shading, this one's the KK shader for toon shading, and this one lets you make your own custom shader. I'll choose a mission this time for the shader. If you want to change the shadows in blend mode, you can do that with these menus. This time, the model has new blend and shadow modes. The shading was set to emission, so the principled BSDF node has been sloppily replaced with an emission node. The third option is the KK shader, and requires you to append the material from the kkshader.blend file if you don't already have it loaded in. Go to the append menu and choose the template general material from the kkshader.blend to append the kk shader. Now you can use the kk shader when you import the object. And if you open the green texture group in the KK shader, you'll find that the textures inside of the folder you selected have been loaded in automatically. This object only has a main texture, so that's the only one that's been loaded in. The fourth option will use a custom node group that you have defined. Before using this option, you actually need to create this custom node group. The first input of the node group will get the main texture, the second input will get the main texture's alpha channel, and the third input will get the object's normal map. So in my custom node group, let's say I want the main texture to undergo a hue shift, and then use the main texture to make the object glow. I have my three inputs on the left side, and I've got my one output on the right side. Even if I don't use all of the inputs on the left side, there still needs to be at least three. Once you're finished making your custom node group, you need to name it custom underscore studio. If your object has a color map or a detail mask, you can add a fourth and a fifth input to access these from within the node group. Now that everything's set up, the FBX file can be imported. Going to the shading tab reveals that the main texture and the image alpha have been fed into the custom studio node group. This object doesn't have a normal map, so nothing is connected. And if you actually go inside the node group, you can see that the main texture is going through the hue node, just like before. There's four types of studio objects that I've come across. 
The first kind of object is like the Baron Bunny, where it's just a single main texture. For these, all you need to do is export one object and you're done. The second kind of object is like the crown head accessory. For these, you need to export the object and then go to the texture tab to export the MC, MD, T, and N textures. Once these are all placed in the same folder, you can import the object using the Studio Import button. And since this object has an MC and an MD texture, those have been automatically loaded into the KK shader. The third kind of object is like the FAL from the Arma mod. These objects are split into individual entries, so each entry needs to be exported individually. Once they're in the same folder, you can, again, import these with the Studio button. And the last category involves map objects. These objects are split into individual mesh entries, but are still contained within the same animator entry. So you can select as much or as little as the map as you want, and then export it as a single FBX file.